Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door. We just finished the in-between part of uh, chapter 4 and getting to chapter 5 is a little tricky because there's a lot of dialogue and a lot of steps you have to do and we're going to continue on. We uh, talked to Flavio, he's going to take us on a treasure hunt for Cortez's... Uh, treasure I guess it's kind of a rumor but we be going anyways that's where the map is leading us key hall key and uh, one of the dudes at the very back is definitely an ex-nun I'm just gonna say that ah yes so it is you huh well sadly a slight problem seems to have popped up but feast your eyes on this outrageous fantastic ship she's a fine vessel no she is the SS Flavion the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet the raw maj majesty of her, her of her hall, the pomp of circumstance, and none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to our very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water, tops among any sailboats. But above all, I'll tell you, she's a proud ship. Yes. Did you speak? Yes, 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 of course. The problem that has sprung up. I'd completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue we have. No navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here is the real problem. The waters around Keyhall Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absolute skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a, how you say, a pickle. Oh, Flavio. Heard you talk in there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve our problem? Then spit it out. Well, sir, I've heard talk of fame. No, a legendary sailor living in Rokeport. Yeah, I think he's a called Admiral Bumbry, a salt old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have um helmsman have the helmsman touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is there ain't a soul what seen him on those seas of late. Bassa boom problem solved. Let's scout out the Bumbry fellow and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? Sounds fair, boo boo bop. Do we got the ship guy with us? That's pretty, not the ship guy, the shop guy with us. At the top left, you'll see him. You must find the Bumbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Look. There's a shopkeeper. We're bringing a shopkeeper to, to sell us stuff on the boat ride. Alright, we gotta go find this Bombery fellow. Which I remember being pretty tricky to get to. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Alright. Uh, pretty sure. I'm just gonna look around back here. I don't think it is back here. But... What is, what is this about? This room here. Okay, no. You got, got some of a problem? You think you can just barge into my hideout, buddy? You're probably just jealous no one's snooping around. It's a perfect hideout spot. Since there's garbage all over, the place just reeks. Who'd want to come here? I don't know, but I'm just going to go invisible. Nothing happens. It's not this house, but I feel like that's how you do something, maybe? Or is that the first game I'm thinking of? Anyways, we just gotta keep looking around until we figure it out. Do you know anything? I remember being really mad and obscure about it. Like, now that we have this rolly thing, I think that's what we gotta do. We don't go up this pole, do we? Let me in. I think we got gotta do something with this, though. Because that's another thing that we learned. We'll just roll on to the next stage. There we go. Am I still going to be a rolly thing? Wow, that's kind of funny. Alright, what's back here? The 
creepy guy and another creepy guy. Cool. Classic. We got a bunch of them. I can't see a thing. I think a star piece was there. Okay. This was always the part that I always forget how to do. Don't know why. I just, yeah. I need to like get up there. Let's, let's use Yoshi. I think I might have figured it out actually. Up here. Yeah, okay. I think it is here. Aha. Don't forget about the, the shine sprite before you... Uh, you do what I'm about to do. And there's another thing up here too. This weird merchant. I forgot. What do you do again? Do you want to... No. I'm not paying you for a story. That... That's absurd. Who would ever do that? I guess if you want the ultimate playthrough. Okay, there you go. You're in uh, Bombery's house now. What do you blokes want? You seek Admiral Bombery? Never heard of a gent. Take your search elsewhere. Now away with you. Ah. Uh. He's really persistent. What's back here? Ooh, Shine Sprite. I'm just gonna steal your Shine Sprite, bro. Uh, and then after that, I think we go talk to the innkeeper. And see, look, look how like obscure this is. Absurd, obscure, both, I guess. Like, you gotta come in here now. And the shopkeeper, I think, tells you a story about him. Ah, Admiral Bombry, yeah. Yeah, I know him. You know that house just past the wall of the eastern part of town? That's his. But I think both of you and he would be better off if you just let him be. Hmm. Let's try this again. No? Okay. So, that didn't work. The shopkeeper is supposed to tell you where to go. I do remember that, but I thought he had more to do with it. We'll figure it out. Let's go back and see if he uh, says anything different. Uh, this is the professor. Let me talk to him anyways. Bombery? Next door. Okay. He also would tell you he's next door. See if I can talk to him again. Drop the axe, super stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bombery. Oh, okay, you just needed information about him. What? Poppycock, tell me. What would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job. Hmm, so sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea never more. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come on, come along. Only you can get us safely to Key Hall Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, what I mean is no. I shall set sail upon the sea never more. Away with you. Okay. Now do I go to the... What's the next move, Chief? This salty dude is going nowhere fast. I can't figure this guy out. What's his beef anyways with the ocean? You know what we ought to do? Go find someone who knows what this dude deal is. And that's when you go to the shopkeeper, because he might know. I don't like Yoshi's uh, dialogue that much. He's, he's too hip for me, guys. He's too cool. Is, is that what they say? I like using Vivian. Hey, look, the lines on her legs are gone. I knew that was looking weird before. All right, shopkeeper, speak. Won't go on sea, eh? Well, I can't say that surprised me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bombery back on the water? Vivian is really in the way right now. <laughs> oh, is that it? 
Now I see, you want to mount an expedition to Keyhole Key. Rough seas out there, most sailors would meet their ends, not old Bomberie though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bomberie's tale is sad, horribly sad actually. You'd probably end up crying, but I'll tell you if you want me to. You really want me to? Please do, I can take it. In that case, get ready, Bomberie's tale of woe goes something like this. Bomri was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now Bomri was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully until Bomri's return. And Bomri, his eyes never drifted. He loved only Scarlet truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bomri at sea, on a long lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bomri, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. I can't imagine what that poor man went through. No wonder he won't sail. You all know his tale now. So tell me, do you still want him to return to sea? Uh, he suffered enough. In that case, let the miserable old soul be him. Make your way without him. Uh, you actually have to say yes. By the way, I thought maybe he would still give you the letter even if you said no. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bomri a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to the plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bomberi in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present the letter to him. I regretted it ever since. Man, you gotta give that letter to him, like, ASAP. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bomri. Thank you so much, Podleaf. We'll deliver the letter for you. You ready, Mario? There you have it. So, the shopkeeper is an old friend of his, but be holding out letters that you shouldn't. Note to self and to others, don't hold that information back. Like, you could definitely help this guy out. You, I, you definitely didn't have to do it the week of, or like, even a month. You do it after or something, or I don't know. Maybe, maybe a week is good. What do you guys think? Past a week? More than that? What? Oh, by Blabberton's beard. Not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Pardon? A letter, you say? For for me? What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you are reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you are reading this, I must have passed away while you were out at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for, for it, my sweet bomber. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I will. I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are, you are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your life's love. Time, like love, is a tide, and you are with me on the sea. And call me Shmi. A, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, please? Yeah, for sure, bro. 
Like, definitely should have gave him this letter, you know? I'm just chilling. Game won't even let me move. Yes, love, I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. So sad. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Key Hall Key. Uh, if you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bombery, wonderful. Yeah, let's go. We got Bombery on our side. Oh, he just clipped through the wall. The ship's in the harbor. I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Sweet, we got our navigator down pat. We ready. We be ready. We be ready. We're gonna go get the treasure. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, email that I don't care about. Haha, <laughs> all the other weird emails. You guys wanna see what they are? Yes, you do. Go to gear, go to important. Yep. So it's all just like more. All that stuff was from uh, the Glitz Pit chapter, chapter three. But all this stuff is just, you can read all that stuff again if you wanted to. Koopy Koo messaged. That's uh, Koop's girlfriend and Poutini saying hello. Yo, bro. You got the goodies? You do not. I think you have it after this, though. You must. I swear to it. That uh, beaver from, like, episode, like, six or whatever that was. When I gave this guy a bunch of money, he hasn't returned with our investment yet, so. Hopefully he comes back soon. Is that, like, a crack in the wall? No, it looked like a crack in the wall. Well, hit that save button so we don't have to do all that, uh nonsense it's kind of tricky to know what you had to do but since i kind of had the gist of it we were good you can talk to bombery but let's just talk to flavio i knew you would get bombery on board you wonderful mustache man you to you i must say ahoy i was wise to choose you as a captain ahoy to me as well my men have already loaded our cargo and supplies yes preparations are complete if you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Yeah, let's shove off, like everyone else says. Very well. To sea, raise anchor, set sails for thrills and emotions. And romance and money. Our destination is Dread Key Hall Key. Wait up! Poor guy that had to untie the boat. Has to make it on the boat. nice looking ship pretty flashy and we're off this is x not one here come back dude I repeat x not one here over Roger reading you five by it infiltration is success x not black aboard vessel repeat x not black is aboard the vessel yep because obviously one of them was definitely the chubby one I forget his name already we'll figure it out Chapter 5. This chapter is really good. It's good, like, uh, backstory. The key to the pirates. Cool. It's like, pretty emotional stuff with Bombery and his wife there. Monstar Day X0. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavion has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? I must scoff. Flavia will show them guts. Doing day logs every day. Another day of good wind, white clouds, they dazzle me. It is, as they say, our blessings of our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. Heartly. Something to do with the heart. Things are going smoothly, yet I am filled with dread. As the speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Skull Captain casts his gaze, red jewel shines and plays. Boom, basa, boom, festival. 
The Stash Brothers, best of friends. Three times red stash lands on his hand. Blue stash belly four times is whacked. So let's hear them fireworks go crack at the Boom Basa Boom Festival. Yeah, let's go. Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh, ho, ho. I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of broad back bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in a deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smiled, for I knew I'd prevail. Great, he started again, a tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's nowhere to escape. We just have to listen till he's finished. Yeah, if you interrupt him, his mid-story, he'll absolutely lose it, too. Uh, why is the... Wait, what is going on? The ship's stopping. Oh, Master Flavio, awful sorry to interrupt that wicked story, but the ship stopped. How is Bombry navigating from where he is right now? I'm just going to say that. Uh, stopped? What do you say after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? So take care of it. Oh, hey, Flavio. I will get on it real quick. What a way to tick. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomping moment, you scallywags. This guy did have an accent before, but he, he lost it. Oi, quit shoving air. I'm working here. I said quit shoving. Ah, it's a ghost fire thingy. It's like a demon soul. There are... What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what's going on? Oh. No, they're upon us, pirate ghosts. All of them rumors were true. What do we do? We gotta get out of here. Ah. Don't panic yourselves. This is just a dream that we're all having. Awake. Now, quickly. Move, to, move the boat. Oh, ghostly old thing, are you really the savage pirate king? Aye, help me. Fuck up now, everyone. Remain civilized, relax, don't panic. Relax, relax, I say. You simply must take it easy, or what? Excuse me, listen, everyone. If you could just stop shoving, forget that. Make a path. Bombery, look alive, man. We must all get out of here. Abandon ship. Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself. Oh, we sinking. Fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that the island was our intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bomry. It pains me to think that they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, eh? We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's floatsam washed in, and we now have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on this salty bounty of the sea, and then what, I ask? We have built a few huts from the washed-up timbers. Poor sweet S.S. Flavion, at least she shanties keep out of the wind and rain. We still have had no sign of Bombery and the others, and my heart she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Three days on the isle now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dream of a returning to Rokeport someday. Oh, Captain Stash. 
It ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. Woo! There we go. We we made it to shore. And uh, we had to build ourselves a little town. Neat fact, you actually uh, come out of this thing later in the game. Too bad you can't break it and like speed through it. Just checking out what's here, isn't it? whack a mole dude? Yeah. whack a bump is like the best thing in the game. Uh, jam and jelly we need. Golden leaf is probably something we don't need. Mr. Softening. Whatever. Creepy little softening thing. I'd rather like healing items on us anyways. FP, because we're gonna start having to use it, because enemies actually get really hard in this chapter. Like, just basic ones. You got the piranha plants, and a couple other enemies that are tricky to fight. Captain, please help us. Flavio and Papatch are a huge fight. And what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when I saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quaking in his boots, fancy pants. Wait, wait one moment. Did you just call me Great Flavio? Called the Great Flavio Fancy Pants? That's right, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants. Why, you little Cyclops, Flavio, demand satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. Oh, that's right fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. They're here. Captain Stash, the ghosts are back. Mario, front and center, this is an order. Take care of the ghosts. Let's go. Now, it's kind of shitty I have Vivian out because she does not do anything for us here. But what I can do, they're, they're actually flying, so if you were curious, is this. Art attack. Let's let's check it out. So you gotta draw a circle around the enemies as much times as you can. Sort of like this. Oh, that was a bad one. That's better. It's kind of some interesting circles, I must say. But look how much damage I just did to this guy. Got wrecked. Wrecked the mundo. 12 star points. Thank you very much. That was... That was easy. Yes. You're a blooming beast, Captain Stash. Too early to celebrate? No. There are surely more of them elsewhere. Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes. That is what it must be. As leader of the expedition, I, of course, should stay here on this. I broke no argument. And yes. Of course, Mario perhaps should handle the exploration on this island. Yes, of course. That is my boy. I knew you would go forth with boldness. We count upon you. So we got a shop here. If you want to go buy some items. That's why the shopkeeper came out with us, by the way. You got a tent that you can heal. And this is free? Or you got to pay? You got to pay. Nothing's free in life. Everything costs something. Alright, so uh, I think next time we'll start venturing on the island i think i'll end the episode there thanks everybody for watching this one definitely stay tuned for the next episode where we uh, yeah hopefully find bombery and the others because we need bombery on our side for sure to even have a chance to get him back so don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you're new and comment share with your friends you guys can even check the description if you want to see the full playlist of uh, Paper Mario and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Thanks everyone. See ya.